Good morning, my name is Jalen. I'm in eighth grade from Young Middle Magnet, and my weather question is how does air pressure impact the weather? And we talk about pressure all the time, don't we? Thank you for that question. Um, I mean, so let's talk about this. What is air pressure? What in the world do we talk about when we talk about pressure in the atmosphere? Literally, the atmospheric pressure is the force from the weight of the atmosphere on us here on the surface. So as you get closer to the surface of the Earth, the pressure increases because there's more air on top of us to push down on us here on the surface of the Earth. And there's these areas of low and high pressure that cover the entire globe. It just depends on how the Earth is heated and cooled based upon different conditions on the ground. So rising air creates areas of low pressure. As the air rises, you get this area of low pressure and the opposite is true when you have sinking air. So sinking air creates these areas of high pressure. So combined together, air will naturally flow from areas of high pressure to low pressure. That's actually where we get our wind. It's that natural flow from high pressure to low pressure. But within those areas of low pressure and high pressure, rising air is what supports clouds and storms. And if you think about your water cycle, everything rises, it cools, it condenses and it eventually precipitates. And in areas of sinking air that suppresses that weather development, suppresses cloud cover, and that's actually what we have in control right now, that high pressure system bringing all the sunshine.